Counseling Micro Skills, Reflecting Feeling, with Sandra Collins and Gina Co. Gina, the last time we met, we were talking about the struggle that you're feeling to balance the demands in your life, even though everything that you're working on is exciting and things that you feel passionate about and care about, um, there's still a lot. Providing transparency, overviewing. Uh, where are you at with that these days? Questioning. Mm, after we talked last time, Sandra, I felt lighter. I felt heard. I felt you understood what I was um, trying to say. So um, it feels good to talk to a professional and I'm glad I reached out. Mm. So there's some sense of relief in just expressing what's going on for you as you process the feelings around this. Reflecting feeling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, sense of relief, not, not only... Uh, um, I mean, even physically, you know, I felt a sense of relief uh, mm -hmm. being in this profession, also sitting a lot. And you know, I've had some shoulder pains from sitting. Um, of course, you know, with my work with clients, I do have to sit and I can't just stand up on my client sitting. So, but even my body felt more uh, relaxed and, and lighter. So I guess talk therapy works. <laughs> <laughs> So as you reflect more on that sense of, of lightness, how do you, how do you feel about all of these, you know, things that you're juggling and, and the, um, the strain that that has been putting on you? Questioning. Mm -hmm. I feel, um, I feel good. I feel that I'm doing impactful work. I feel I am making a difference. I feel uh, you when you said passionate. Yeah, I feel passionate. I feel I feel strong. I feel I feel fierce. Right. Um, so though these moments are reminders for me that I'm on this path of, you know, empowering myself. Uh, hopefully, I'm making you know waves, uh, making an impact on my my my, my clients, on my children, my listeners. So yeah, quite a number of feelings actually. Part of what stands out for me is the energized, reflecting feeling, mm -hmm. reflecting on all of the ways in which um, you are making a difference seems to be bringing you some new energy, reflecting feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really like that, uh, that word energized. Um, I mean, if I stop feeling energized or feel like it's a drag if I feel I feel like it's not worth doing you know those are the moments I will slow down and think about then what what do I stop doing what do I cut out right however that this feeling of being energized have me keep going so the other things that you encounter are more um are heavier and they're less motivating mm. feel less motivating reflecting feeling well I, I think it, at this point in my life I don't have many of those those moments of encountering you know too that things are too heavy um I, I, I have shared with some colleagues you know recently about how I did exit academia like I decided to not do that full time. I do, I do teach part-time, which I love. I teach practicum. Um, and I do know that, for example, if an opportunity comes up, someone asked, actually, actually, you know, last year, uh, through LinkedIn, someone asked me if I would like to apply for an associate dean position in their university. And it was an interesting moment because it was almost immediate, Sandra, the heaviness came back. And I, I respectfully, and I, you know, I was very grateful. I thanked this individual and I, and I said, I said, no, not, not right now in my life. So that's an example where, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm, I made that decision, realizing that's not for me right now. I get quite a sense of confidence. Reflecting feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You confidence that. in yourself to I make guess. Decisions. 
reflecting feeling. Yeah, I love that you said that, Sandra, because yes, I feel like now, I'm, I'm, now that I'm in mid 40s, I do feel more confident. Again, I do feel more fierce and sure of, of my decision. So I, I don't think I could have said this even five years ago. So mm -hmm. interesting.